Cops all boarded up. Sad to see it like this. Should find a low profile way in. Don't want to draw attention. I might get lucky with an unlocked window. Welcome to a later edition of my afternoon streams. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I'm starting late today on a Saturday. I must have really wanted to sleep in. Second, just doing a thing. Still doing a thing. Give me a moment. Just doing a thing. All right, and I've done the thing. I think I don't know anymore. Okay. So let's do some story real quick. But first thing is first. Did I do enough over here? Or am I still missing a couple of things? Oh, I'm missing a couple of things, definitely. Definitely. Mm. Well, I know what I'm gonna be doing soon. The side quest. The side quest heaven, baby. Yeah! This place is dusty. No one's been here in a while. Three generations of Masons have owned this shop. Rick almost sold it when their parents died. I think it was Finn who convinced them not to. Huh. Finn and I spent a whole summer helping Rick repair old guitars. There wasn't anything he couldn't fix. He said one of these used to belong to Allison Blair. I think he was full of it. Do you have proof he was full of it, though? Rick's ESU textbooks. He took night classes so he could keep running the shop during the day. Guy was unstoppable. But taking it physics Someone at left night, the lights though? on. Physics is a long class, Doug. Some kind of meds. GCSF. Used for treating bone marrow decay. Whose was this? Well, it's a mystery, all right. Someone bricked this up recently. Yeah, that's great. But look at more stuff! 
Roxxon ID for Ella Sterling. But the photo is of Finn. Finn was working with someone to break into Roxxon. The team that created New Form all got sick. Wait. Rick was project lead? That's all we can examine. Okay. Whatever. <sighs> but I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. I would have been on sooner, but I am just tired, guys. I am very tired. <laughs> One, a two, a skill lily. Okay, this is a secret room. Rick never went anywhere without these. How did these get here? Must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. Except your mask. Should check out is, that big terminal. You know, not meant to hide a domestic terrorist. Video file from six months. I just ago. realized my mic was off the whole time. <laughs> Running a test upload. <coughs> Half my team is sick. But Krieger still want him in his new form. We need to do this tonight. Let me. You sure we're ready? We have to be. They broke ground in Harlem today, ahead of schedule. Poisoning the city to make a buck. They keep cutting corners, ignoring safety reports. I can't. Let them pervert my work like this, Finn. Okay. First we flush the core, then we wipe all data. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey, too. But without me, they'll have no idea how new form works. Project could be DOA. I'll report us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Perfect. You ready to save New York? Ready. There's a second video. <sighs> Damn it. No uploads. Phone must have been damaged. Tonight be for nothing. <laughs> I promise, Rick. They were trying to shut the new form project down. But something went wrong. The last known location of her phone. If I can track it. Okay. Ah, shit. Come on, come on. Invisible, be invisible. Come on. He's here! He's close! Hold him in the Straight up vanishing really freak these guys out. Can't stealth these guys till they calm down. They're too alert. Tripped a silent alarm or something. Ah! It's a mango stove. That's 
said I like it like that. Got the pistol in the face. All these holes. They're all in place. So down. I got love for you, I won't try to murder you bitches. They're missing. Spider-Man's here. You want friends joining the fun. Okay, back to that computer. Easy. If I can find Finn's phone, maybe I can understand what happened to Rick and why she became the tinkerer. There, got a location. Ah, shit. He's... Genki, fill him in. Hey, did you find anything in Finn's shop? Yeah. I know why she's doing all this. Something happened to her brother. Something bad. Oh, man. Rick was working at Roxxon. He was their lead scientist on New Form. Whoa. And it looks like New Form was making him sick. Simon Krieger has been telling everyone how safe it is. He's lying. Finn and her brother tried to shut down the prototype reactor. Prevent further development. What happened? Don't know. Yet. Finn recorded the whole thing on her phone. But then she lost it inside the lab. I'm on my way to get it. Listen, I'm right here. Call if you need me. Will do. <laughs> here we go. Swinging through the sea. How can they have a shootout with this many civilians around? I gotta step in.
I'm sorry, that usually doesn't happen. Everybody sneezed. <laughs> Standards are safe. Time to head out. in the underground's attack on Roxxon Plaza, physically or emotionally. Please, please get help. There's a list of resources on my block. Switching topics, I'm pulling together an expose on the underground, and I need your help. If you have any information you can share, it could help us shine a light on a group that needs to be taken down. Till next time, stay safe. And remember, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. This is good. of August. Yeah. 
Thanks, underground. That's probably also why a lot of my money goes missing. I'm just that depressed, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Outnumbered and still came out on top. Now, I'm trying to do a whole bunch of uh, level grindy things in the background. Because I want to knock out a couple of things behind the scenes. So that main game content can just be more streamlined. What's the I thought about going doing on here? what I did for Ghost of Tsushima. Which Friends, is to, uh... today I'm gonna have to be the disappointing guy. Now because of Jared, he's actually doing a fine job for a change. No, I'm disappointed that once again, some of you have allowed yourselves to be convinced that it's okay for a complete stranger with zero legal authority to parade around in a Halloween costume pretending to be some kind of savior. And once again, that misplaced faith has resulted in an unimaginable disaster. The truth is, it doesn't matter if you think Spider-Man is good. It doesn't even matter if he thinks he's good. What matters is that every time something gets destroyed in this city, he's there. Or now, his protege is. Ask yourselves, with all these crises we face, can we really afford to deal with twice as many? And where will it all end? Spider-Woman? Spider-Punk? Spider pig? Well, while I vomit at that thought, enjoy these important messages from our fine sponsors. Oh, I mean, there really is a variant of all three. Like, everybody knows Hobie at this point, everybody knows about Spider Woman, everybody knows. Well, there are like various spider women now. There's Spider Woman, there's Silk, there's Ghost Spider, aka uh, Spider Gwen. I had to look up a lot of this stuff when I had to review uh, Into the Spider Verse ones. I wish I made that video now that I'm thinking about it, but we just didn't have the right costumes and camera work to make it possible. That's on me, though. Man, I'm just kicking people in the face today. Enrique, how's it look? Finally! Enrique? Uh, rooftop. Somebody should check on him. On my hey. way. Rooftop swinging. Hollywood. Hollywood swinging, swinging. Yo, I could make a gravity well. Uh. 
Um. All right, we can actually make crimson cowl. Because we're not high enough level to do striker or this one or this one or this one and all these things we gotta do certain stuff for except to get this the advanced tech and the classic barely any difference But honestly, though, I like Crimson Cowl the most aesthetically. But that just it cut. That's just because it hit different. I don't know what. I'm just a sucker for a good hoodie. Anyone that knows me knows this. Get out here, Spider-Man! I love to live in hoodies, bro. <laughs> Gone. Start a search. Wait, what was that? Oh crap! Someone's down over here. Show yourself. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, games really took hey, notes from uh, Rocksteady. Or, I'm sorry, Rockstar, about how to do a game like this, because normally Pete's not this much of a stealthy boy, unless it's to just gather dust. Same goes for, well, technically Miles is the same kind of stealthy boy, in just the lighter sense of what stealth means. I can buy myself flowers. We'll kill you, Spider-Man! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> fizz and never know. The last one.
Bruh, I almost had that car too. on research labs oh for the love of god this is where now the whole new form the project got started yes abandon the mission i did not sign up to do that mission i was already in hot pursuit of a vehicle now it's ruined that person got robbed miles They were robbed! Anyway. Whee! on my nerves! What the? Corporate kidnapping squad down! I'm not the one that saw that, right? That guy clearly rolled over and uh, offed himself. I literally <laughs> was just trying to web him up to get, like, just a secure line. He just like, I'm gonna roll over! And then myself, I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, at least no one clipped that. That just seems so fucking weird. Today I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy. Shut up, JJ. Let's spice things up, shall we? This challenge will push all your movement skills to their limit. Approach the prompt, and we'll get started. Fast and loose, let's go. Okay. Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith.
camera reset itself. challenges are not my thing. Stealth, beating up people, evasion, sort of, that's more my bag. But a mobility challenge? Sometimes, you are no fucking mind. Fake. Gonna do it though. Gonna do it. Because I have until for my time to do all this. Why? Because I have someone else's podcast that I need to do. I need to get ready for a stream Sometimes that you gotta take a was fit. unscheduled. <laughs> then I need to start recording my own stuff that I've been putting off for weeks. Again, because my seasonal depression in August is the worst. Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith. Get ready to swing! Woo Man, that was dope! Nothing beats a good web swing. Except maybe sprinting straight up a building to find all natural laws and gravity. That comes pretty close. Oh man, I got this! I got this! Great four. Let's try some wall running. Wall running lets you maintain a clean line without losing speed. Dude, I love wall running. Love it. What do you mean, Inspector? Pete. Come on, come on. Almost there. Fuck. If you're going to do amazing work like that all the time, Miles. I really need to step up. Stay focused, and you can leap back into the air immediately after landing. Basically turns you into a human bouncy ball. Good times. Quick recovery. Good call. Damn it. Shit. Okay. I think I might just do all of, all of those per se off screen. I might have to do all of the challenges off screen. Because some of these I'm like, Jesus, Peter. You can't even do this. What's funny is I actually have a uh, ultimate Stop rating the in a lot of tight. my Shit, one summer, vibe. we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. One. Hey, friends, some news. East North, satellite branch in Harlem, is shutting down. Details on why are spotty, but I've heard that a flood made the building unlivable. East North is shut down. Man, it's way too cold for people to be out on the street. First things first, let me rub it. In the ground, don't need this. Sorry, random citizens. I, in the sandbox game, have to save other civilians in a sandbox game. Also about to get in a fight with uh, the underground again. Why? 
because they're guarding their shit at Fisk Tower. This will be safe. Hands off the merchandise, Spider-Man. Hey, what are y'all hanging around Fisk Tower for? <laughs> Gotta be the last one. Got a crime ping from the app. A donation stand's being robbed. Yeah. Okay. I get one of the other dozens upon dozens of New York superheroes. Stop some of these crimes. Seriously? You cannot rob donation stands, especially during the holidays. Oh, you shot, kid. Spider-Man saves the holidays. Thank you so much. I wasn't sure. Glad you're okay. Sorry. You know, if you look real close, some of this iconography will look very familiar for how Kai Senate actually caused a crime. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Danica. You may have heard that I endorse candidate Real Morales for city council in the special election. So today, I'm interviewing her, for real. Thanks for being on, Miss Morales. Thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love your show. Hello, oh, thanks. So you're running against the incumbent in your district. Spider-Man, hey, I'm Caleb, good to meet you. Saw your mural at Teo's. Oh, that's the other guy, but I'm still here to help. <sighs> Every business on this block's had inventory stolen over the last few weeks. Paper products, kits, sanitizers. We're all local. We can't swallow a loss like that. Did you report it? Sure. But no one's taking us seriously. Camille, she runs the restaurant next door. Decided to look into it herself. Went down to the shipping center that supplies all of us. I'll meet her there. See if I can help. Thanks, Spider-Man. Good to have you looking out for us. into some robberies on Harlem's main strip. Caleb's clean cuts and Pana Fuerte. Oh, I love Pana Fuerte. Did you try the arepas? I can't eat before I do intense superheroing. It's kind of like pool rules. Right, totally. So, what's the plan? Track down the stolen inventory, find out who did it, see if it's connected to the guys who robbed Tails' bodega. Sounds good. I'm on call for tech, map, and thinking through problem support. Avengers Tower!
That's the shipping center that supplies Kayla's block. So it's on this level, following the marker. I'll be taking this. I need this way more than you do, Underground. Cops? What's going on? Witness said a woman was stuffed in a trunk after arguing with some ex-con types. We got an ID? From an Oscorp cam. Camilla Vasquez owns Panafuerte in Harlem. Oh my god. They kidnapped Camila. I had to try and find her. But cops won't like me interfering. Maybe if I get a look at the clues. Camila definitely fought back. You need to figure out where they took her. Parking garage receipt. Chinatown. Okay. But where in Chinatown? Uh, dude's in the way. Spider-Man, this is an active crime scene. Back off or I'll take you in for obstruction. Shit. I need to make myself harder to spot. You heard what happened with the subways? This new spider. Yes. Now I can get a look at that clue. Spider-Man, get this out of here! Pure crime scene. Leave it. Damn it! Or not. Anything turned up? How is it so much smoother in my own personal playthrough than this? I haven't seen the other Spider-Man in a while. Maybe he retired. And left New York in the hands of a kid? That's what retiring is, dummy. Yeah, it just seems irresponsible. What was that? Spider-Man! What the? I was just going. The levels of distress, it's like, listen, I'm trying to investigate the crime here. Can you back the hell up so I can help you? Jacket from David's complete auto repair. Someone dropped it when they peeled out. Hey, you know where I could find David's complete auto repair? There's 12 of them in Manhattan. Any in Chinatown? Yep, sending you the address. Chinatown. A woman matching our Vic's description. Seen in an alley. Let's move! Hey, Spider-Man. Any leads on our inventory? Yes. Oh, yeah. The guys who stole it? I think Camila caught them in the act. They kidnapped her. What? You're sure? Positive. I'm on my way to help her. Good thing you came by when you did, Spider-Man. Thank you. Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Well, told you the site was haunted. Got it.
So to get on like a focus of to make something new like some serious stuff and whatnot. Uh, I'm looking into a lot of things recently with corporate crime. I don't know why I'm getting into a criminology thing lately, but recently, from all the stuff involving uh, people talking about painkiller and whatnot, I tried to look back into all the oxy cotton, aka uh, just oxy. The designer drug that's over the counter drugs. Get the hell away from me! Cops! Everybody go! No, no, no! <sighs> Shit! Just let Camila go! Am I seeing this right? Camila's in that car? Yes! That's speeding through Manhattan? Dangerously close to crashing? Yes! Oh my god! I'm not even in the way, and I somehow Getting got away. shot. Camila, please be safe. How'd I even lose the car? Gotta keep up. City. I know the layout, especially Manhattan. Camila, bitch, you okay in there? Manhattan anyway. So, I'm trying to look back into the stuff involving Oxy because it is the strangest thing involving how we allowed such a crazy club to be in pharmacies and whatnot and just let it run rampant because it open. wasn't, Please help me. you know, a quote unquote. Illegal okay, substance. Spider-Man, I, I I didn't expect you to. But those men. It's okay now. You're safe. They, those men were paid to steal our inventory, drive us out of business. They're holding it at the docks on FDR, near the bridge. I'll get your stuff back. Do you need help getting home? No, 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 no. I can call a cab. Gracias. You saved my life, sir. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, so, like it's just kind of baffling. The there was just so much me. of a huff and whatnot for various other substance abuse and whatnot, but... Yankee, Camila's safe. She caught those guys uh, giving hey, inventory. Sam. Said someone Thank paid you. them to do it. About I'm that. not doing a super long digging. stream, but I appreciate someone anonymously it. Thank you so a much. Someone anonymously filed the city to use eminent domain powers and condemn Camila and Caleb's blog. But, yeah, so, it just kind of right? baffled my so mind. We, we would be... Totally. I put in a counter request asking for an investigation into whoever's trying to buy the land. Dude, you're a genius. I'm headed to the docks to get the supplies back. I'll call you soon. Yeah, so we just allow whole thing to run so rampant where it still kind of is running rampant and we're not prosecuting the family behind the drug or really giving a shit for the most part since it's like oh we brought down uh purdue pharma now that we brought down purdue oxy's no longer a problem oxy is on the streets now my g She's not going crates. nowhere. Crates. More crates. Where'd they hide the supplies? Bet those guys know. If I listen in, I can figure out which crate to open. You hear the boss wants to shut down Feast? Wait, what? Or what? It's just, it baffles my brain how we as people 
allow the darkest things to happen, and yet we don't stop. Like, maybe it's just me, me, and I'm just that point boss wants to shut down in my Facebook. age or Wait, something. Or I don't know. I'm just trying to reevaluate what constitutes what? as the oh, most important. The These guys aren't helpful. Need to eavesdrop somewhere else. You know, it doesn't help the fact that, you know, I'm a you dad, to do so... With that stuff. Everything for me is holders? like, oh, Probably shit. Dump it. You can get started if you want. Green crate with the white star. Got it. Now I can take these guys down. Best thing about the holidays, more stuff to steal. Because yeah. no one should really have to... Day, think about how job. fucked up the world is, you know what I mean? Like, we should, at this point, have done away with so much nonsense to be better people, but we just yeah, really keep developing more and more ways to just eradicate goodwill we were starting to spawn into. Time to teach you a lesson! You don't stand a chance, kid! I can't reach it! You're dead! Taking you down! I'm gonna enjoy you! Guys working for a mystery boss? Zero. Now to find the goods. Green container, white star. Got it. And now to get that inventory out of the crate. Stolen supplies. Hey Caleb, found your inventory. Okay. Bring a few trucks down to the docks, and I hope you move it back. My hair is wet. My body is finally dry. 
My toes still hate my feet, so it doesn't fucking matter what I think about my feet. ready to file for bankruptcy and close our doors for good. Because of you, we're back on our feet. Thank you. A thousand times. Thank you. If you ever need a haircut, drop by. It's on the house. Uh, how would that work with the mask? I've seen stranger. Bruh. Oye, you need food too. You're a growing boy. Mira, come by Pana Fuerte anytime. We'll wrap up something nice for you, okay? Thanks, Appreciate Camila. It. Both of you. Everyone on the block feels the same. You've done us good, Spider Man. Doing good work out there, Spider Man. With your help. Any leads on our mystery guy? Yeah, I'm working on a short list. So far, I've got Vulture, Scorpion, Tombstone. Don't think Electro could pull off something like this. That's a lot of big names. But we'll deal. I want him out of our neighborhood. Aw, it's the first time you've called it ours. Don't make it weird. Too late. Beast North is shut down. Man, it's way too cold for people to be out Swing. on the street. Swing. As we finally held Paulo. Shawang, Shawang. I should go as Miles. Figure out what's going on at Beast. Man, I'm getting a lot of progress done in the allotted time I'm given today. Guys, I promise, next weekend when we do this, I'll be fine. I'm watching WandaVision, I know. Hey, Genki. I'm gonna talk to Gloria about Feast. As me, not Spider-Man. Undercover by not being undercover. I like it. It's, it's still with the joke of your obsession with Elizabeth Olsen. Hey Gloria, what's going on? Why is everyone outside? A pipe burst. We cleaned it up, but the city won't let us reopen till the plumbing's fixed. I've had it repaired three times, but it keeps breaking down. Can you send people to other fee shelters? There no, I know. Capacity. Everyone here, they've got nowhere else to go. We're trying to keep people warm and fed, but in this weather... Anything I can do to help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on the people camped in the park? They don't always open up to management. Happy to. Then get back to your vacation. You work too hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, do I have a some show for you guys? I was actually planning on doing a video on this one, but I decided Need against it because uh, <laughs> it bored the fuck knows. out of me. So. If you guys have Max, aka HBO Max, there is literally an Elizabeth Olsen show based around an actual, technically unsolved murder. Like, no one really knows the full details, they're just going by circumstantial evidence, but Elizabeth Olsen plays the role of someone that was having an affair in Texas, where during this affair she was with a man that also was in a loveless marriage. And just so happens that out of nowhere, the man that she was having an affair with, his wife died. But all the evidence points to her. For everyone else, it's worthwhile. I say at least give it a chance if you've never seen it. Like, love and death Fine. is just a... Uh, nice warm apartment to go back it's to. It's something. I'll get that. It's not for me, obviously, but it was I'm something. Death, glorious girlfriend. I'm volunteering at Feast. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Gloria said the city won't reopen the building. They're being unusually stubborn. And they showed up so fast to condemn us less than an hour after the flood. Uh, I, I sound like I should be wearing a, a tinfoil hat, huh? No, that's weird. Well, listen. Thanks for your help. Okay, suspicious. I should keep but, talking to people. Maybe I can fix this. 
But yeah, uh, Love and Death is actually interesting enough for people that want to follow an interpretation of a real-life crime story, where Elizabeth Olsen does a good job, well, if you set it's it down just... This... Here, I got you. Thanks, man. I'm trying to keep this stuff dry. I was so worried we'd get robbed, and the flood happened. I even bought a knife. Why did you think that? Got some guys casing the place. Chased them off, but they just came back. Then they up and disappeared right before the flood. Huh. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Be careful with that knife. Can do. Thanks. It's just that, for me, and this is just a me thing. No one else really has this. It's just purely a me thing. I'm specifying this for everyone. When it comes to properties like uh, motherfucking Love and Death, I've looked into a lot of stuff involving based around a true event type of media already, where it's not me basing it around hatred. I'm just, I don't necessarily care. What, Crimson Cowl or uh, Strike? Crimson Cowl or Strike? Or we could just give away Miles' a secret identity and just have him wear this. <laughs> hey Miles, what you doing? I'm not Miles, I'm Spider-Man. But it has your ID attached. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I'm just wearing this. <laughs> Then, of course, we also have the animated suit. But I'm going to go with Crimson Cowl, because it's one of my favorites. At end, uh, Minus Morales 2099. Honestly, that one is Chef's Kiss. But, yeah, so, love and death, like I was trying to say. Because I will talk about... The stuff involving Feast, but that's a whole big can of worms I can't get into without properly setting myself up with, so bear that in mind. Hey there. Did I overhear you talking about someone from the city? Yeah. About a month ago. Shelter put in a new water heater. Inspector came by. He said we were in good shape. Then all this went down. Yeah. You'd think he'd catch that. I gotta run. Stay warm. You too. Hey, you busy? Working on speed Nonagon. What'd you find? Guys were casing feasts right before it flooded. The city swooped in like suspiciously fast to condemn the building. And an inspector said the pipes were fine right before one burst. You think sabotage? Definitely. Need to change into my suit. Change. She was a real sweetheart. Okay. Oh yeah, they're talking about Aunt May. Anyway, so yeah, where was I? Right, so to follow up what I'm trying to say about love and death. If you guys want to give it a chance to see if it's right up your alley, I'm gonna say do it. It is a fascinating take on stuff like how I was showing uh Shannon our other sibling well, and our in-law. In shelter if the pipes are fixed. Let's see if I can pull it off. Uh, this movie called The Wonder, based around stuff involving the Great Famine, 
and how to a certain drink. religious families took a lot of credence in the worst possible Ugh, way trash. to make sure that their children no wonder the pipe would, uh, burst. Clear the trash. I don't think the water's running. Oh, I know how to fix it. You gotta find the pump station. How do you know that? I did a clean up the rivers project in fourth grade. So they're sparkling clean now? Well, cleaner. Do not go in the Hudson. Ever. But for me, it's just meh. Like, I've tried. I've really tried. But. Almost there. Eh. Genki. These are definitely the guys I fought at the power station. Okay, I get the bank heist and the power station, but why mess with Feast? Let's find out. I think he'll start running protection again. Yeah, once he's settled in, sure. These have a good grip on this place first. Let's be on top of the alien! Is it worth it? Do it for you. I wonder sometimes. Is it worth it? Lost them. Do it for you, for you, for you. What's your idle animation, uh, Miles? Don't you got bigger fish to fry, webhead? Gonna break you in two, kid. Hey, clean up the rivers guy. Pump's pressure is in the red. Looks like they messed with the valve. You'll have to reset them individually before you can turn on the pump. Did you hear those guys? Their boss wants to run crime in Harlem. Drugs, protection. Ugh, can't people just visit for the food and museums and not make a mess? Non-Spider-Man related question. Have you started Jane Eyre for Miss Mallet's class? I haven't done any homework since school let out. It's wild. I just finished this wedding scene. <sighs> Can't put it down. Are you reading right now? I thought you were. Hang on a sec. Found a valve. This one's got a pressure meter. Probably means it's old. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Uh, I gotta web it. One valve down, two to go. I'm back. We were talking about winter break reading? Uh, yep, no, I I'm here. You have my undivided attention. As soon as I finish this chapter, five minutes. Dude. Okay, that was a sign. boy. That's so cold. That's two. One more, and I can turn the water back.
Okay, random fucking ah fuck. Okay, game froze. Well, I was making good progress, I guess. Okay, now that I'm still reeling from trying to talk about something extra serious, like from the oxycodon uh, research, now to talk about the whole thing involving the feast debacle, I guess. Because while I'm waiting for this to load, I need to just get my brain put together, know what I mean? Like, trying to talk about everything involving homelessness, that's a long tan I wish I could go on to involving stuff, in including how I have been homeless before. But you know what, this time, I'm not going to do any rants. I know, crazy, like, the streamer that barely pays attention to his games and just goes on lengthy rants about a lot of stuff he's passionate about, not gonna rant, that's crazy, but honestly, I can't really talk too much about uh, homeless shelters in America and the other stuff about it, because that is such a... Uh, it's such a widespread net to cover that this needs to be like a just chatting stream for me to talk about this. So, eek. That's, that's all I gotta say, like, eek. I want to talk about it because it's very important to me, but I'm not gonna. Not yet, anyway. Instead, I'm going to bore you guys by talking about movies of 2023. <laughs> oh, Lord. God, the game literally just froze itself. I cannot believe this. Like, you guys can also see, it's not me just purposely holding the game up. Like, I've been just swanging around my own damn business. And 
and the game decided to be like, oh, you're almost done, and you didn't struggle on the first go, let's just... So, I'm going to bore you guys with talking about movies 2023. I'm already putting together my list of best and worst. My worst list is almost done. Where... My first pick of the year for worst, or for one of the top ten worst movies of the year, uh, surprise, surprise to no one, if they know me, was an M. Night Shyamalan movie called Knock at the Cabin. Knock at the Cabin, in of itself, is a movie involving a same-sex couple and their adopted daughter in the middle of the woods where four people that have seen signs of the end of the world are saying that they need to sacrifice one of them to save the rest of humanity. In concept, in setup, and in premise, this is interesting. Not good, but interesting. The problem lies in the pacing, the writing, the direction, the plot, and the conclusion. All of which kind of weigh down the film a lot. Especially since the best stuff about the movie is, ironically, from the antagonist, who were all just normal people until they were given signs from the hereafter, to then just become the and I can't believe M. Night Shyamalan thought this was clever, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I'm trying to look for two witnesses that would observe the very fate of humanity. It, it was a dumb movie, but not the worst movie of the year, in my opinion. Not even close to the worst movie of the year. No, 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 no. That honor, I'm not even going to do this as a spoiler, that honor for me was uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Ugh. Let me just realign my jaw for this. So, Winnie the Pooh, ooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I'm just going to call him Winnie the Pooh at this point. The opening animation is the best part of the whole film, because it sets up a different kind of movie than what I wanted. You gotta love how the graphics on the screen are still moving, but I'm unable to move the camera or Miles himself. So I'm boring you guys by talking about movies of 2023. That's great. That's a great use of my time for the last eight minutes of the stream. <laughs> So, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, yeah, it's all about, from the first book that's public domain, where Pooh Bear, Piglet, Rabbit, and I think Owl, maybe? I don't remember, because we only get to see Pooh Bear and Piglet grown up, so it's a little confusion about who a fuck about, especially since the fucking Hundred Acre Woods people eat Eeyore because they can't get food. But, uh, Pooh Bear and Piglet are apparently mutants that were abandoned by Christopher Robin and become cannibalistic killers. Sort of, it's, it's dumb, it's weird. Movie is terrible, the effects budget, costuming, Plot development, character development, musical score is annoying. Everything about the movie hurts. The kills are inventive in certain regards. The location scouting is impeccable, but the movie is just... It's the most horrendous thing I've seen this year. Nothing has come close to making me hate a movie in 2023... Other than Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. That is astonishing. 
when you can make a movie that's dead, it's baffling that it's now making enough money to get a sequel, its own cinematic franchise, and it's all because of hate watching. That's why we have Velma season two, or we had. It's it's confusing. Like, bro, I don't under fucking stand. It's the stuff. It's just the dumbest fucking thing. Uh, let's see what else was on. Right. Uh, controversial pick for me, because I also saw this with, uh, Crimson, a.k.a. Raven Angel Rain, a.k.a. The, the, the love of my life. We saw Scream 6 together, and we're both collectively over the Scream franchise at this point, and it's not even because the film is bad fundamentally, or like it's phoning itself in. No, it's the fact that Scream at this point feels boring. Like it legit feels like it's a boring franchise now. With Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox just kind of there. It doesn't have that same drive anymore. Like, the last drive we saw was in Scream 4, which no one really liked, but that's because Wes Craven was ma there for majority of the time. Without Wes Craven, Screams 5 and 6 just feel... Ugh. I I don't want to speak ill will about a lot of uh, franchise people and whatnot, because I get it. You want to keep the legacy going. But there's a magic that Wes Craven brought that these new directors and the f people carrying on the torch for Wes just can't seem to grasp about how Scream worked. Especially since it just feels like every retread of the original trilogy... And then, of course, Scream 8's just going to be a reskinned Scream 4, where it's just going to be about Billy's daughter trying to come back, but then it's a better setup if we do Scream 7, where Billy's daughter becomes the new Ghostface, much like how it would have made more sense if Gail Weathers became the new uh, Ghostface for Scream 6. There's just a lot of problems with the movie. I could go on all day for that, but... Sadly, we do not have all day. We just have three minutes on the clock for myself before I have to go-go, where off-screen I will be trying to fix this issue, where when we come back I will have knocked out a couple of different side quests behind the scenes, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, just gonna try and clean up all this stuff because the tech issues, because I don't feel like you guys deserve to... Watch me have to do a bunch of stuff all over again because of some technical problems causing said issues. Because that's an ish me, not an ish you. But let's see, one last uh, bad movie from 2023 that irked the living shit out of me. Uh, I actually made an entire documentation of notes, believe it or not. Uh, no, that's my D&D &D notes. Uh, let me go to here. Uh, oh, right. Everyone's favorite punching bag at the moment that was born a pure millennial from the 90s. Uh, Zoe 102. Now, I refuse to watch it in full. I've seen parts because I at least wanted to say, I've seen it, I don't care for it, because I've seen the script, I've seen where the whole development itself goes into, I've read everything about what it needs to be about, the lines, the budget and box office that it would have had if it was a theatrical release, because of how they were projecting what it could have been if it was released for a whole... Uh, distribution thing to the silver screen rather than a streaming platform and they do like to do a, a approximate thing about what money would have 
been made from a nostalgia bait purposes. It's a stupid thing. But Jamie Lynn Spears and co. just really made a terrible for streaming only property. There's nothing else to say. It's It was just a bad film. No one could really care about it, but apparently it sold like hotcakes to trend because people wanted to hate watch it, which is another film people hate watched. But I digress. Because that was fucking stupid. So, since I've talked to you guys the last several minutes of the stream because I didn't want you guys to just sit here in silence while I just contemplated what to do, like restart the stream for a whole lot of bullshit to then have to tell you guys, refresh and blah blah blah. Uh, we're going to try and remedy the situation tomorrow, where luckily we're doing more Persona 5 Royal for my backlog. And then Monday, of course, is a micless stream, so if you guys pop in, you guys don't have to. Micless streams are just for me and for Nick to just kind of put up something in the background so if you guys just want to have something in the background Mondays are just that background noise and then of course Wednesday or Thursday if I'm running late is gonna be Neo the world ends with you and then we're gonna be back here with more Miles Morales or we might try to go back to Midnight Suns you guys can tell me uh, tomorrow if you guys want me to return to form in that regard but other than that I will talk to you guys tomorrow with Persona 5 Royal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I I apologize for the final few minutes of the stream. Horrendous with the tech issues. This was not my plan. But AAA programming, I cannot fix. So you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And keep being good people. Bye.